Okay, that mask is always going to creep me out. Anyways, how are you guys doing, acquaintances? This is Dragony, and if you haven't figured it out yet, I'm once again rest I'm restarting The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Now, I assume that by the time this video comes up, I will have put up a trailer for what this is, but if not, then I'll explain what this is, what this is right now, because I don't, I haven't actually, at the time of this recording, I haven't actually made the trailer yet. But what I'm doing is, this is something called the Rebirth Project, and the Rebirth Project is, uh, essentially, I'm going to try to take the games that I started in the past and never finished, and I'm going to try to redo them, with the exception of a couple games that I just kind of just want to drop. Um... But I'm probably gonna put a I'm probably gonna put a video out talking about that before this even goes up. So <clears throat> if not, if there isn't a video up about that, I will I will I will talk about the Rebirth Project in detail in the description of this video, so you can check that out. But if there is a video, if there is a video where I'm talking about the Rebirth Project, I will have a link somewhere on screen, and you can go check that out, and it will be awesome. So yeah, without further ado, I've I have like half a let's play of this up, so I don't really need to watch the. I don't. I don't really need to watch the beginning. So let's get started into, boop. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. I was doing a test file. I'm just gonna get rid of that. I just wanted to see how I was all gonna run and jubbly wooblies. So let's do my normal dragony, because that's what I always do. And let's get into my favorite game ever, The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. I don't know if I ever talked about that in the last in when the last time I was let's playing, but. Within the last year or two, Majora's Mask has become my favorite game of all time. <clears throat> that happened after the very first time I beat it, which wasn't really that long ago. Maybe like two years ago or something, which is ridiculous considering I beat Ocarina of Time. I beat Ocarina of Time my very first time when I was just a little child. You know, I probably should be reading this. So, uh, I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I read the text? This, I, I was always really aw Oh, sorry, I hit the mic. It's something I've always really been off and on about, reading the text and not reading the text, doing silly voices or not doing silly voices. Like, I've, I've never really known like what I should do about that. Sometimes I find it annoying, sometimes I want to do it. Um, hold on, I'm just going to drink a bit of my water here. Okay. Also, one thing. Um, if the quality of my mic is a little bit different than usual, that is because I'm using a new mic. What I was using before was a different mic, and now I'm using a headset, so it's using a headset is like ten times easier for me to record right now, so I thought I would use the headset. I don't know if it's any good. Well, it should be good. It sounds pretty clear when I listen to it. But anyways, what's going on in the game here? I should be paying attention. Link is walking around in this creepy uh, forest, and ooh, I wonder who these fairies are. I know who the fairies are. <laughs> oh, they knocked me off my horse. How dare they? I'm going to kick their asses. Yes. Oh, there comes the mask. Oh, God, that is so creepy. Get out of my face. Just get out. Out the door right now. Ugh. Hehe, <laughs> you two fairies did great. I wonder if he has anything good on him. Huh? This guy? Well, that shouldn't be a problem. So I guess I can do voices. Why not? I'm. I do want to be an actor. So, I've always have, I've always found that funny how he walks on a little bit and then he just stops for like a second and then he starts going on again. I don't know. I found that interesting. Anyways, don't just kick my body. What do you think you're doing there? Also, drop that ocarina. Ooh, what a pretty ocarina! Hey, Skulkin, let me touch it. I want to see. Oh, you're not gonna see. You're gonna drop it or something, aren't you? You can't tell. What would what would we do if you dropped it and broke it? No way, you can't touch it. That's exactly what I was just saying. Aw, but sis, why can't I try it out too? I don't know. Maybe because you don't have freaking hands? See, that's always the thing that that was always the thing that, that interested me about this scene. See, they want to try the ocarina, but as far as I'm aware, it's been shown that they can't hold anything, right? Because they just like knock into stuff all the time. I don't know. Anyways, we got a cool we got a cool scene here with Skulk trying to steal our horse and then and it's just all serious with badass music and all that awesomeness. 
God, I love the music in this game. The music in this game is phenomenal. In my opinion, the best, the best music soundtrack of the entire Zelda series, without a doubt. Anyways, that must have hurt. We just got flung right off our horse. All right, now uh, let's go chase Gull Kid, shall we? Finally get into, finally get in um, control of our character here. Our character Link, of course, but we didn't name him that. No way. I don't name, I don't name that bitch that. Oh, I was trying to do a spin attack, but it's like, wait, I don't got magic. Anyways, let's not chop grass right now. I could, I could get, the, I could get some. Ru no, I want to check something. What is back here? I've never actually looked behind me. Um, is there really like nothing? So the whole horse chasing scene. The, in the cutscene, they made it look like I was on it for a while, and we took like a twist and stuff. Was it really only like like three feet or something? Huh, that's interesting. Anyways, let's let's get going. Um, so yeah, this first video, you might have noticed already, it's probably going to be a little long, and that's because it's the first video in the series, and that's the thing. Whoa, whoa, lag. Okay. Are you... Are you good now? You gonna keep lagging on me? Yes? No? Well... Stop it! You better stop lagging on me! It's like, we only just started this recording. It's like, I know I was having problems with this too in, uh... Oh, crap. I know I was having problems with this lagging too back in Diggity Kong Racing. This is the same... The same laptop I was using as I was back then, so I was expecting lag. I wasn't expecting it to happen so soon. But, I don't know. Anyways, as I was saying, you might have noticed that this video might be a little long. That is because it is the first video of the series. And... Something I want to do for the first video of the series is... They, oh, come on, stop lagging! Oh my god, this is so bad. What's with that stupid horse of yours? It doesn't listen to a word that's said to it. But yeah, as I was saying, um... The... The, the first video of a series I want to be long, because it's like the intro to the series, right? So, yeah, this is the intro to Majora's Mask, so... I thought what I would do is put the first... The entirety of the first day cycle into one video. Of course, I'll probably have some chops and cuts here and there, but... <clears throat> but it's basically gonna be the... The, f the first three-day cycle in this one video, just to start things off, so. There's no point in writing a thing like that, so I did you a favor and got rid of it. Hee <laughs> hee. Aw, boo-hoo. Why the sad face? Oh my god, look at those eyes. And the, with that music, too. I just thought I'd have a little fun with you. Oh, come now. Do you really think you can beat me? Okay, well, it disappeared. <laughs> And then Link's screaming in pain. I wonder what's happening. Ooh. Uh-oh. It's all dark. It's zooming into Link's face. Ah! 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 What's happening? Oh, dear God, there are dumb, mad scrubs everywhere. Run, Link, run! Run and hide your face in shame and... Oh, that is a big mad scrub. Oh dear lord, we are in trouble, aren't we? Yep, we just turned into a Deku Scrub ourselves. Oh man, we are so cute as a Deku Scrub, oh my gosh. I can see up Link's tunic finally, I'm happy about that. But unfortunately, it's not what he's hiding in. Which is something I'm not happy about. Hehe, <laughs> now that is a good look for you. You'll stay here looking that way forever! Damn you, Deku, um... Matt, Skull, Skull Kid, Skull Kid. Damn you, Skull Kid. And damn you! The, oh, I almost called it a Navi. I think that's that's tail, right? I think it's tail. Sis, sis. Okay, so it looks like the leg is pretty much gone right now, which is fantastic. And I, I just I hope that it stays gone for the rest of the video. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, Skull Kid! Wait for me. I'm still here. Tail, you can't leave without me. So yeah. So, okay. No, this one's Tattle. I don't think I ever explained it explained it in my videos. But the two fairies, their names are Tattle and Tail. And, yeah, I don't know, it's just like kind of thing Nintendo did. It's, together, they're Tattletail. 
I don't know if that means anything with their characters. But I think it's kind of cool. So, you! If I wasn't dealing with you, I wouldn't have gotten separated from my brother. Well, don't just stand there, Deku boy. Do something! Uh, um, why are you looking at me like that? What? Is there something stuck on my face? Will you stop staring at me and just open that door for me? Please, come on, a helpless little girl is asking you. So hurry up! <sighs> oh, Tail, I wonder if that child will be alright on his own. Okay, Tattle, we'll help you. As soon as I just show you guys around with this digging scrub. So he can twirl like a ballerina, and that's awesome. I love the twirling. I think it's really fun, because I, I want to be a ballerina in life. Not really. I just want to show you guys a little something. You see this? This lighting? Look, look at that. That is real-time lighting. For an N64 game? That's nuts! Well, I guess then again, that's why this game uses the... Um, the cartridge, the, um, the expansion pack. Yeah, you can't play this game without the expansion pack, but... Oh well. It's one of the things that makes this game look better than Ocarina of Time. Hey, wait for me! Don't leave me behind! So, um, that stuff I back... Uh, that stuff back there. I, um, apologize, so take me with you. You want to know about that skull could who just ran off, right? Well, I just so happen to have an idea of where he might be going. Take me with you, and I'll help you out. Deal? Please? Good. So then it's settled. Now then, I'll be your partner, or at least until we catch Skull Kid. My name's Tattle, so, uh, nice to meet you, or whatever. Now that we've... Excuse me. <coughs> oh. Pardon me. <clears throat> now, now that we've got... No, now that we've got and... God, I can't read. Now that we've got all that straightened out, can we stop messing around and get moving? If I figure something out, press the up button and I'll let you, and I'll tell it to you. Hopefully, you'll manage to get by without my help until then. And I am a big fan of fourth wall humor, so I'm a big fan of that head nod. Okay, Tattle, uh, do I? I don't need you to talk to me. I know how this works. It's a Deku flower you go in it. You dive. It helps you fly. There, I just gave you an explanation of how it works. And now, here's a whole thing that teaches it for like a tutorial, sort of like a beginner tutorial, for the Deku Flower. Now, if we go over here, you'll see there that, you'll see there that there's a treasure chest that will be our first treasure chest of the game. I wonder what's in here. Oh my god, it's the Deku Nuts! We finally got ourselves some nuts, so I probably shouldn't be looking up De um, Link's Deku screen anymore. It won't be appropriate for YouTube. Sorry, guys. I know you're re really looking forward to it, but I just can't. Okay, so let's just uh, fly ourselves over here. See if I can make it. Hey, I should be able to. What's this? Hey, you! Come on, press Z and talk to me. Wait, was that that thing talking? It shouldn't have been that thing. No, that thing can't talk. What's that have to say? There you go. See? You can... Oh, that was Tattle saying that as she was over there. I can't believe I just put that together. Okay. There you go. See? You can do it if you try. When I fly over to people or objects, use Z to look at them so you can talk to them. Use Z targeting to talk to people even if they're far away. Or if there's no one to target, you can use Z to look straight ahead. But enough about that for now. Come over to this tree and check it out. So, unlike before, I'm going to try to go through the game a little bit slower. Because what I was doing was before was that like I personally knew about the game and what to do next in the game. So I would kind of just like skip over little minor details and be like, yeah, we have to go straight here. But now I kind of want to be like, play the game so that people who... Uh, say somebody doesn't really know this game very well and they're watching the videos, I want them to be able to follow it easily. Not just be like, oh, okay, he's going there because he knows to go there. That's cool. How would I know that? So I'm going to go through a little bit slower and show you guys stuff and all that. So first of all, let's talk to this mangled, creepy tree thing here. Okay. It's strange, but the way you look right now sort of looks like this tree. It looks all dark and gloomy. Almost like it could... Almost like it could... Bleh. Almost like it could start crying any second now. 
How sad. So there's a little, um, a little thing that has to do with this tree. Uh, I'm not reading that again. But there's a little thing that has to do with this tree that I will explain when we get a little bit later in the game. Because I don't want to spoil anything right now, so. At least if I remember, I'll explain it, but I hope so. I hope I remember it. So, here is the first instance of motion blur that this game does a lot. Because it was able to do it with the expansion pack. Something Ocarina can do. So, I don't know, it's just something I wanted to abuse. I don't know why, but it looks cool, so I'm not, I'm not complaining. Anyways, I just want to say something here, actually, before I go up. The music here, I love it. Oh my god. Like I said before, Majora's Mask has, in my opinion, the best soundtrack in the entire Zelda series. So, like, the, the music in the place where I'm right now is just beautiful. I could just, I could sit here for hours and just listen to it, but obviously I'm not going to. Because I'm on camera right now. Or at least Link is on camera. So, let's just go up here and meet one of the creepiest characters ever in Zelda series. And, of course, the popular line. You've met with a terrible fate, haven't you? Oh, lag. Go away, lag. Come and get another day. Fa um, mag. I was gonna rhyme it with something else, but I stopped myself before I said that. Because I don't, I don't want to make a joke like that. I own the Happy Mask Shop. I travel far and wide in search of masks. I don't know what kind of voice I'm gonna give, give him, so I'm just gonna talk with, I'm just gonna talk like that with him. During my travels, a very important mask was stolen from me by an imp in the woods. So here I am at a loss. And now, I've found you. Now, don't think me rude, but I have been following you. Ugh! What a creep! Oh god, he just moved. That scared me. For I know of a way to return you to your former self. And one thing I want to point out, I love this shot so much. Just because Link totally looks like he's looking at his cock. Like, this is totally like a hentai shot right now. You gotta... You have to admit that. Come on! Anyways. If you can get back the precious item that was stolen from you, I will return you to normal. In exchange, all I ask is that you get back the precious mask that the imp stole from me. What? Is it not a simple task? Why, to someone like you, it should be no means. It should by no means be a difficult task. Except, the one thing is, I'm a very busy fellow. And I must leave this place in three days. I apologize if you guys hear the screaming in the background. But I'm not cutting out. I don't have time, so you guys are going to have to deal with it. How grateful I would be if you could bring it back to me before my time years up. <laughs> but yes, you'll be fine. I see you are young and have tremendous courage. I'm sure you'll find it right away. Well then, I'm counting on you. So, he's saying he needs his mask in three days. That's sort of what this whole game's about. Three days. I'll explain that a little bit more in detail, but anyways, we go out here and in dawn of the first day, 72 hours remain. So far all we know what that means is that we have 72 hours to get the mask before the Happy Mask Salesman leaves. But maybe there's a little bit more to that. <clears throat> he gives me the creeps. That Mask Salesman was a... Sorry, just think it out loud. But three days? Even if we never sleep, that leaves us with a measly 72 hours. Talk about demanding. Well, don't just stand there. We're going to see the Great Fairy. Look, you want to find the Skull Kid, don't you? The Great Fairy will know what he's up to. She watches over everything. And just between you and me, the Skull Kid is no match for the Great Fairy. Go to the shrine near the North Gate. You'll find the Great Fairy there. Okay, so the first thing we have to do... Oh, well, well, before I even say that... Um, welcome to Clock Town. This place has possibly the catchiest music in the entire Zelda series, in my opinion. Clock Town music, brilliant. So, only, right now we're only in South Clock Town. So what does that tell you? This place is huge. Yep. South Clock... Clock Town is a, a pretty big place. So... Uh, first thing you see here is like... Is that there's a Deku flower. Let's go over there and see what, try, see what happens when we try to use it. Wait, wait, hang on! Oh, look at that. It's uh, some kind of some kind of 
flying Deku scrub. Never saw that in Ocarina of Time. What's going on here? This is my private property. Don't try using it when I'm not around. Oh, sorry, buddy. What happens if I try talking to you? I've already, s I'm, I've already sold out of my wares, and the carnival hasn't even begun. Oh, this guy's doing some good business. I'm thinking of closing up shop so I can buy a gift for my wife and return to her in my village. I've heard that a stone called the Moon's Tear shines brighter than any other in the land. If you've got one, I'd really like, like to get it for you. My wife would love it. If you give it to me, I'll give you my spot here. Deku flower included. Okay, well, <clears throat> do you have one? You're a Deku scrub, so you know how just how convenient a Deku flower can be. If you don't hurry, I'll give it to another Deku scrub. The early scrub gets the nut. Ha! <laughs> I never... I never heard that saying before, the Deku Scrub gets the nut? That's funny. Anyways, so what he was saying was that he needs something called a Moon's Tear. Which we will get in a little bit. So, at least we know, at least we know he needs the Moon Tear. So what Tattle was saying, that we need to go to North Clock Town. So, obviously, the first guess for that would be like it's north, right? So let's try this way. I think we're at a new area. There's a creepy Majora's Mask balloon, but yeah, see? North Clock Town. Here we go! First thing I want to do, though, is I want to collect some rupees. Because... Oh, wait. Maybe I'll try talking to Tingle. Say, what's this? Green clothes? My fairy? Sir, could you by chance be a forest fairy? Oh, my. My name is Tingle. I think I am the same as you, sir. A forest fairy. Alas, though I am already age 35, no fairy has come to me yet. My father tells me to grow up and act my age, but why? I tell you, Tingle is the very reincarnation of a fairy. Now, while I stand here waiting for a fairy of my own, I saw maps to help of my father. Lucky, lucky. You're so lucky to have a fairy. I know, I know. We should be friends. Yes, yes. In exchange, I will sell you a map for cheap as a sign of my friendship. Will you buy one of Tingle's maps? Ooh, a clock town map is only five rupees? Of course I'll buy that. Yippee! So, oh, like, this map wasn't actually what I wanted the rupees for, but if it's only five rupees, I might as well buy it. Yeah, you've got a map for Clock Town. Now you can find a way around town. Yeah, yeah, I know how maps work. That's not that important. Yeah. Well, call again. Tingle, Tingle, Kulu, Lipa. These are the magic words that Tingle created himself. Don't steal them. Okay, so Tingle is a bit of an odd character who was introduced in this game. Uh... And, oddly enough, they've actually reused him in other Zelda games, which I'm surprised about. Uh, Tingle's a bit... Of, uh, people either love Tingle or they hate Tingle. Uh, personally, I'm... I don't know if I like Tingle or not. <laughs> he's a he's a weird character. Anyways, this is East Clock Town. I'm just looking for rupees right now. But, yeah, Tingle is a bit of a really weird character. Uh, he's really old, but he doesn't want to grow up, I guess? He wants to be like a kid from... Basically, he wants to be like a kid from Kokiri Forest. But, I don't know. Tingle's weird. I'm not, I'm, I've, I really have not decided if I like this character or not. So let's keep running around looking for rupees. I believe I need two more. But I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, let's just uh, run our asses over here. There we go, I got 11 now. And so, the Great Fairy is in here. But that, I don't want to go there yet, I want to go somewhere else first. If I can get in the Deku Flower, where I want to go is right here. Let's check out what this place is. This is the Deku Scrub Playground. Well, it's down the hole anyways. If I can get down there, thank you. Now let's go check out what this Deku Scrub Playground is. Obviously, it's something for Deku Scrubs, right? How about it? Will the young one play? When the game is... Yeah, I was right, it's 10 rupees. Okay, good. Alright, then use this Deku Scrub, have fun, yada yada yada. Okay, I'm not gonna skip it all. Basically, all we have to do is collect all the rupees on the platforms within a certain time, and we cannot fall to the ground, otherwise we lose. So we gotta get it under a minute, 15 seconds. So, easy enough, right? Should be. Uh, 
Oh, let's try going this way. Oh, wow. Whoa, lag, 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 lag. Okay. I really hope that it doesn't affect me too much throughout the playthrough. Because that'll be bad if it does. Uh, now, it looks like this one's the next logical platform to go to. Yes. But depth perception is very off, so. It's kind of hard kind of hard for me to fall on these things sometimes. There we go. Thankfully, this first one's really easy. Tattle, stop talking to me. Like, I, 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 no, oh, I couldn't tell if I was going to fall off because the lag is getting really bad. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. Stop it. Okay. Uh, uh-oh. Oh, uh, yes. Oh, my God. Oh, that was close. Well, oh, oh, God. Those are fast seconds. Oh, my God. Why are those seconds so fast? That's weird. Time's up, you're done. Oh god, I'm pissed off. That's the way it goes. You can come late as many times as you like. Eh, well, let's do it again. I got my rupees back, right? Okay, let's try, let's try it another time. And, like, why are those seconds so fast, though? Oh my god. One. Two, three. Wow. Huh. Yeah, they're really fast for seconds. Like, holy crap. Like, I know the emulator's... I mean, like, the game console isn't moving, like, that fast. I don't know. It's weird. Uh-oh. No, go away! Okay, no, seriously, seriously, stop it. Okay, it looks like I might get it this time. Okay, I got one more, one more, one more. Okay, okay. I got it, I got it. Come on, come on! Yes! Got it! And even with that lag affecting us so bad, God, I gotta fix that lag. 107.83, amazing! It's a new record! Take this. What do we get? Oh, we get 50 rupees! I record. I will record this time. So what's your name, young one? Hmm, hmm. Dragony. That's a strange name for a Deku scrub. It's a strange name for a human, too. I wonder what it's not a strange name for. If you come by... If you can, come by again tomorrow. And that is exactly what we're going to be doing. We'll be coming by again tomorrow. But for now, we have something else to do. So let's uh, go do that something else. Okay. Wow, was it evening already? I don't think I explained this yet, but you see the thing on the bottom? Whoa, okay. I thought the game froze there for a second. Okay, you see the thing on the bottom where it says first, and there's like the sun going around the diamond, and then like there's the five on the side. That's the time, basically. This game is literally on the three day time limit, in game time. So, and from the looks of it, it's about to become night of the first day. But yeah, so this here is the Great Fairy Fountain. And those are all little fairies. Oh no, the Great Fairy! Something happened to the Great Fairy? Let's go check it out. Young one, hear my plea. I've been broken and scattered to pieces by the masked Skull Kid. Please find, find the one stray fairy lost in town and bring her to this fairy fountain. I will do. Of course I will do that. Why wouldn't I? Okay, let's go. Oh, oh it's night of the first day. <laughs> I was like, what happened? Is there going to be another cutscene all of a sudden? But nope. Just uh, night of the first day. Okay, so this... This stray fairy that I have to find. Depending on whether or not it is night or day, the stray fairy will be in a different place. I'm going to show you where it will be if I was trying to look for it during the day first. Because it's just right over here. If I was looking for the stray fairy during the day, I'd have to come over here to this new area called the Laundry Pool. And it would be right there. Also, this guy here is playing the Song of Storms. I'll talk to him later, though. No point, no sense in talking to him now. So, yeah. If it was day, the, the stray fairy would have been floating above the water, and I would have to get it in the water. But since it is night, the stray fairy is over here. 
in East Clocktown, right there. So to get that, what we have to do is if it'll stop lagging. Oh my god. Are you serious? Okay, whatever. I'm just gonna get it anyways. We have to use this Deku Flower. And then we can get it right in the air. If I can not pass by it. Looks like I'll get it. There we go. Please hear my plea. The mass skull kid has broken me apart and scattered my pieces. Please find a way to return me to the fairy fountain in North Clocktown. We'll do a fairy woman man thing. I think it's a woman. <laughs> What's she? Do? Well, considering the final form is a woman, I'm pretty sure it is a woman. Okay, so let's get over here. Because we have to bring the stray fairy back to North Clocktown, back to the fairy fountain. Pretty obvious, right? Yeah, I'd say it's uh, some obvious shenanigans. Do some ballerina twirls back up in here. And now we bring the fairy back to the... Oh my god, stop it with the lag! Wow. Are you serious? Are you freaking serious? Oh my god. Oh my god. Guys, this is beautiful. The amount of lag right now. This is the Okay, are you Okay, good. Good. Tattle and you Young one of the altered shape. Can I... Are you serious? Is it like freezing right now? I just pressed the A button. Ugh. There we go. Thank, thank you for returning my body. My broken and shattered body to normal. I am the great fairy of magic. I thought the masked child was helping me, and I grew careless. Uh, uh. All I can offer you now is this. I shall grant you magic power as a sign of my gratitude. Please accept it. Yep, so that is exactly what it sounds like it's gonna be. Anyone familiar with Zelda knows what we're getting after hearing that. Yep! We just got a green bar. That means we got the magic. Hooray! Of course. Wait, is he? Yep. Of course, he has to like hold it above his head. Cause that's just Link. That's just what Link does. So you've been granted magic power. In your current form, press B to shoot bubble blasts. Press and hold B to blow a big bubble. Release B to shoot it. Your magic power decreases when you shoot. Replenish it with magic jars and potions. The man who lives in the observatory outside of town may know the Skull Kid's whereabouts, but be careful. You must not underestimate that child's powers, kind young one. If, if ever you are returned to your former shape, come see me. I shall give you more help. Okay. So, she just gave us a valuable piece of information. The observatory outside of town. If we go there, we might be able to find out s about Skull Kid's whereabouts. But, oh my god. Where exactly is this observatory? Speak to this kid here. What's he got to say? What do you want, Shrip? I'm busy practicing with my blowgun. If you can't pop that balloon, then don't mess with Jim. Grr. Hmm. Pop that balloon, huh? Well, we just we did just get magic power to blow bubbles. So maybe we can pop balloons. Let's see. Ooh, can we? Yeah! Well awesome. We just popped our balloon. Alright, so let's talk to this astonished kid. Are you the one who just popped that uh, that popped that up there? Not bad for a Deku scrub. We bombers have a hideout that leads to the observers observatory outside town. Exactly what the great fairy was just talking about. 
You need a code to get in. Maybe I'll tell you what it is. But don't think you're getting it that easily. I can't just tell you what the code is. You have to pass my test first. Are you ready? Um, I sure hope so. Alright guys, line up! Oh, there's like a whole bunch of them. That is scary as hell. If you can find all five of us by tomorrow morning, I'll teach you the code. Are you ready? Alright, well let's see if I'm ready. Okay, so the first guy's right here. Just go to your media to right, and then you gotta like tag him, so. Ah, you caught me. Ah, there are only four left. So the second guy is just over here. Oh hey, there's, there's this guy. I'll t we'll do more with this guy later. He's a bit of an asshole. So we just caught the second kid. The two more kids are in East Clock Town. Let's get them both here. He doesn't count. He just kind of stands there. He's not running away from you. So there's a kid up here with a chicken. We gotta chase him down and come on. There we go. Oh, you got me. I got only two left. There's another one over here. We gotta use the Deku Flower to get to it. Him, sorry. He's not an it, he's a him. He's a human being, Dragony. Come on. Be nice. Okay, come on. And... Uh, he jumped off. Okay, let's go get him. Come back here, kid. I only want to fondle your penis. Come back here. Come back here, little boy. Okay, there we go. Now, there's only one kid left. And to find the last kid, we're gonna have to go to a place that we've never been to before. I wonder what that place can be. Well, the only part of South Clock, the only bleh, the only part of Clock Town we haven't been to is West Clock Town. So I guess uh, that's that's where we're going. Possibly. Yep. Here we go. Oh, there's the the dancing sisters. You can kind of see them. So one of them there. There they are at the bottom. Oh my god, like, are you serious? Go away! Come again another day! Okay. Is it still lagging? Yes, it's still lagging. Stop it! Okay, guys, after the, after I'm done recording this video, I'm gonna be looking up ways to fix this lag, because this, this is ridiculous. Uh, the only thing I'm afraid of is that I'm gonna have to lower the quality settings on my Project 64, which would result in a lower quality video, which I really don't want to do, but I might end up having to. So, you're pretty good for a Deco Scrub. If only you were human. Then I could give you an original Bomber's Notebook and make you a member. What do you guys think? No word. No scrubs. We are dumb. <laughs> I guess not. Once, we let some kid who wasn't a human join our gang, and boy, did we ever regret it. Sorry. But I'll teach you the code, just like I promised. I can tell you only once, though, so pay attention. Are you ready? I, I like how I'm slowly getting more and more obnoxious with the little kid's voice. Okay, so this is a, um... This is a secret code that he's teaching us, so we can get into, uh... The hideout to the observatory. So what, and it's actually different with every game save file. So I got, I really got to memorize this. Three, five, two, one, four. The entrance to our hideout is in East Clock Town. Okay, I got to memorize that. Three, five, two, one, four. I'm probably knowing me, I'm probably gonna forget it, but let's head straight there, just in case. Okay, I'm just gonna keep repeating it to myself so I don't forget. Three, five, two, one, four. I think that's it. We'll see. Alright guys, so this is the entrance to the observatory. If you want to pass through here, okay. So, three, five, two, one, four. Oh, I got it! Yes! I didn't forget about it. Sweet. Bombers, yeah, okay, let's just keep going. Okay, so this is a creepy place. You know, I really can't imagine those kids coming through here just to get to the observatory. Like, isn't this place like a little creepy? And there's even an, there's even an enemy down here. Like they can get killed if they're not careful. This is the enemy, by the way. This is the very first enemy you encounter in the game. This is a Skulltula. Just kill it easily easily with a bubble, and it's done. Was that a rupee? Yes, it was rupee. I need you. Thank you. Tattle, go away. I'm not talking to you. Let's pop this Majora Balloon here, because 
Oops, I didn't mean to use that bubble. But, uh, no, go! Okay, thank you. Let's, uh, let's do that. And then, there's a little somebody I want to talk to here. This, uh, there's a living scarecrow here. Let's talk to him. Uh, Yo, hey, baby! I'm a stylin' scarecrow, wandering in search of pleasant music. Time will pass in the blink of an eye if you dance with me. If you like, baby, we can forget time and dance till dawn. Shall we dance? Um, no, not right now, thank you. Oh, sorry, that's too bad. In that case, come back anytime if you do decide you want to dance. By the way, I know of a mysterious sound that allows you to manipulate the flow of time. Do you want to learn it? Uh, yes I do. Oh yeah, now listen up. If you play that strange song backward, you can slow the flow of time. And if you play each note twice in a row, you can move half a day forward through time. How's that? Pretty interesting, isn't it? But I'm sure I'd like any song written by you better, baby. If you like, you can play one for me. Um, we don't have an ocarina right now, so I can't play music, but he just taught us something very valuable. If there's basically what he said is we'll be getting an ocarina, and with the ocarina if we get an ocarina and we learn a specific song, we can play that song in certain ways to alter the flow of time. So the game isn't really just like a stuck three-day cycle and then you're just screwed. Anyways, let's talk to this old man here in the observatory. He's like, well, well! A strange-looking child has joined me today! Are you a new friend of the Barber's gang? Hmm... Your manners seem much better than those of your mischievous friend from the other day. Oh, come on, lag. Every time! Can I press A, please? There we go. <laughs> the ill-mannered troublemaker from the other day said he'd break my instruments! No! <laughs> That's my old man voice, by the way. It's one of my favorite voices to do, like, ever. I've been doing it ever since I was 14. Maybe even younger than that. But anyways... He said he'd steal my moon's tear! There was no stopping him! So, moon's tear, huh? Isn't that what that Degu scrap asked for at the beginning? When we first got the clock down? Yeah! See how this- see how all this kind of lines up now? It's interesting, isn't it? Even now! Just watch him! He's probably causing trouble outside the clock tower! Will you gaze into this telescope? Yes. Okay, so what he said was to look outside the clock tower for Skull Kid. So basically what that means, we have to look at the top, and we press A to zoom in. The Skull Kid is right there, staring right at us. And then... Oh yeah, I never showed you guys the moon, huh? Well, that's the moon. <laughs> it's creepy, isn't it? And that is obviously a moon's tear. Oh, you meanie skull kid. You are so mean. Stop doing that right now. Okay. Well, we did what we needed to, so we don't need we don't need to look in there anymore. Did you find that troublemaker? It had loud noise. What was that? Perhaps another moon's tear has fallen nearby. Go through that door and take a look outside. But I wonder how that troublemaker got on top of the clock tower. The only up. Uh, way up there is through the clock door, and that opens only on the eve of the carnival. Okay, so what that tells us is now we know how to find Majora, and or how to find the Skull Kid and how to get to him. He is on t the Skull Kid is on top of the clock tower, and we can only get there on the eve of the carnival. Now we just need to find out when the eve of the carnival is, because we don't really know that yet, I don't think think. I mean, like, I don't know what that is, but do you, does Link know in the game? I don't think he does. So it looks like it's it's uh, just about to turn to Dawn of the Second Day. There we go. Dawn of the Second Day. 48 hours remain. Just kind of wanted to do that. Okay, so let's uh, keep hopping up down here. Keep hopping up those stairs. Now we need to leave the observatory. Unfortunately, all the way back this way. But eh, it's not really that long, so it's not that bad. So... Oh no, oh no! Ah. Okay, okay, good. The... 
Um, okay. The I, I didn't explain this earlier, but the Deku Scrub can't swim. It'll hop a tuple... A tuple? That's... Yeah, that's totally a word, Dragony. Um, the Deku, Deku Link will hop a couple times in water, and then he'll sink. And that's it. So, it's this lag is making it really hard to get through here. Oh, no, it stopped lagging for like a second and then it went right back in the lag. God, this is bad. If any of you guys have like suggestions as to what I can do with fraps to s just stop this lag, I would be... I'd be very happy. Because this is just ridiculous. Oh, God. I still have so much to the first day cycle. Uh, oh well. Can you? They. Like, are you are you serious, game? Now I know it's Fraps that does this because it never lags when I just play it on its own. It's always when I'm running Fraps. So. Okay, looks like it's like, looks like it's finally it's starting to go back to a bit more normal. It's not perfect, but it's but it's not. It's actually running now. Oh god. So now that we got the moons tier, let's uh, let's go back to South Clocktown and talk to that talk to that Deku scrub. See if we can give him the moons tier. That yeah, makes sense, right? Hello, dead Deku scrub. If you have the moons tier, I must get it from you. My wife will love it. If you give it to me, I'll give you my, my spot here. Take your flower included. That's a good deal. Okay, so I'm gonna press start. Press start. There we go. I pressed it more than once. Then if we clip this to one of our C slots, and then just hand it to him. Boom chugga boom da boom da gum boom. Ah, that stone. You must hand it over to me. In exchange. I'll give you my spot here, deck of flower included, yes? Now I have the perfect souvenir for my wife. She hasn't set eyes on a jewel, or strange sparkling stone like this in a very long time. The title deed for this spot should be in high demand among the deck of scrubs, but you already know that. Uh, no, we didn't. Thank you, thank you for telling us. If you don't need it anymore, you can always sell it. I love... One thing... One of the reasons why I like the, um, the Clock Town music so much is that it, it changes a little bit every day. It gets a little bit faster with each new day. So anyways, if we use the, um, the deck of flower, we can get up to the clock tower here, and this is how we'll be getting to the clock tower on the eve of the carnival. But uh, doing it right now, yes, the door of the clock tower opens only once a year, at midnight, on the eve of the carnival. Okay, so now we know the eve of the... now we know this opens on a midnight. So that's a bit of nice information, but let's get this heart piece here. So we got, we got a piece of heart, collect four pieces of hearts, uh, symbol a new heart container. Each new container you put together will increase the amount of life energy you can have. Anyways, so since this is Donna, since we're in the second day now, there's something new we can do. Well, sort of, uh, not really new, but there's something we can do again, I should say. If we go back to North Clawtown here, we can, we can go back into the, uh, the Deku Scrub playground, and play the uh, the Deku Scrub game for a second time, and it'll it'll be different this time. It changes every day, which is very good. So ho hopefully it doesn't lag too much while I'm playing the game. That might screw me up. But try setting a new record. Play as ten rupees. Deck of flower. Okay, what time do I gotta get, buddy? I don't remember. Faster than the current record to get? Yeah, what is it? Uh, oh, still, it's a minute 15 again. Okay, let's do this. Let's try to get... Oh, I missed it! No! 
There we go, I got this one at least. Okay, let's see if I can get the outside one here. Might be grasping for straws. Yeah. Completely missed it. Uh, the problem here is that this game is very hard to play on a keyboard. So, I'm gonna try a couple times. But I, I really might just not end up doing it. Just because of how tough this is to do on a keyboard. But we'll see. Okay, I should be able to get the outside one here this time around. Uh oh. Not if it's gonna lag like this. And no, of course I miss it. Just barely. A hair's breadth. Of course. Uh, you can play as many times as you like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're setting a new record. Ten rupees. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hopefully it doesn't lag on me like it did the other time. There we go. I think the outside ones are the hardest ones to land on. But that's just my personal opinion. Oh, let's try to land on this one. If I can get it, yes! Okay. Now, which one do I want? Maybe if I'm lucky, I might be able to get the other outside one. There we go. Then the inside ones are a piece of cake. Oh! There we go. Okay, uh, which one am I gonna get next? This one, this one, this one. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Stop moving so fast, time! Why does the time have to move so fast? Honestly, two seconds over. Like, I think that's the equivalent of one second in this game. Okay, I'm gonna try that one more time. And if not, then I don't know what I'm gonna do. Okay, let's do this again. I gotta be fast with this. Okay, go, go, go. Um, no! Ugh. Come on! You for real? Okay, let's do this again. Come on. Ten rupees, you got it. I'm running out of rupees, man. I really wanted to save some, but... Oh, well. Okay, let's fall now. Yes! Looks like I got it, yep. Yeah. Okay, the lag is getting bad. It's gonna screw me over. Yeah, it's getting really bad. I'm gonna get the middle one here. If I can... Okay. Then... Oh, which one should I get next? Okay, I'll get this outside. This middle one here. No! Ugh. Okay. I have 26 rupees. I'm gonna try again. I know. I know. It's getting annoying you guys watching, but... I'm determined. If I have, as long as I have rupees, I'm gonna try to do it. Let's go. Okay, got that one. I'm gonna get the middle one here. No! Oh my god! Okay, that was not my fault. That was the lag. I pressed A once and it didn't drop because it because it was lagging. You know what? No. I'm gonna come back when I fix this lag problem, and then I'll do it, because this is ridiculous. God, this has pissed me off so much. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, so other, th other than that, there's not really much we can do right now. Really, all we have to do is just wait to night of the second day. At midnight of the... not second. Uh, third day. Dawn of the third day, which is basically all we have to wait for. So what we can do is, uh, I think we can go back here, so we can talk to that scarecrow. If you remember, he said he'll pass time if you talk to him. 
So that when you have nothing else to do, especially on the first cycle, um, talking to the scarecrow is a really good way to pass time instead of just really waiting for it to be netted of the third day, because that can take a while. So that's what we're, that's what we're gonna do here. Thankfully, oh, thankfully the balloon's not back. I thought I was gonna have to waste time with that, but nope. Thank the heavens. Okay, so Tattle, stop trying to talk to me. So if we talk to the scarecrow again, so if we go to yes to shall we dance, you'll be like, oh yeah. In that case, forget the time. Let's dance. And then we get some nice. Um, I think this is Saria's song. Music. It's actually been a little while since I played through Ocarina of Time. And now we get Dawn of the Final Day. And unfortunately, I don't think he will dance with you anymore on the third day. If you like, maybe we can free- Oh, he'll dance until night. Okay. Yeah, that's very helpful. Okay. I thought he was going to go away, but I think now, on night of the third day, he's going to go away. Okay, so now it's dawn of the f n not dawn. Night of the final day. We have 12 hours left. I'm full of energy, but outside seems I've gotten kind of dangerous. Yeah, because I'm getting out of town. Take care. I know of a mysterious song? No. Okay, so I wonder what he's meant by it's getting dangerous. Isn't just, like, isn't just the, uh, the door to the, to the clock tower supposed to open on the eve of the carnival? Is there something else going on? Something dangerous going on? I wonder. Let's go take a look. As soon as we get out of this place. Okay, let's go up here. And... Let's see. And, oh, what is that sound? There's like something shaking. Let's get up here and take a look. And... Oh dear god, the moon is so close. That is creepy. And also, if you notice, there is... Like, nobody left here, practically. What does the kid have to say? Do you remember the code? Yeah, he's still talking about the code. Okay. There was, like, a bunch of people here before, but there's no people here now. Is it because of the moon? Is the moon that scary? Maybe. What does this guy... What does this guy have to say? I love that sound he makes. He's like, Hurr! Anyways. Excuse me for a second. Yeah. Uh, what kind of voice should I give him? Hey, Deku Kid! You waiting for us to finish the bridge from the festival tower to the clock tower entrance up now? Sorry, my apprentice just panicked and ran away. This is all we get for a festival tower. It's not quite tall enough, is it? Sheesh. Even if we went to the top of the festival tower, we wouldn't be able to get up to the clock tower entrance. I apologize for all this. I wish I could scare that moon away. So apparently everyone fled town. Because of the moon. There's something going on with the moon. I mean, uh, maybe it's the face. That's probably it. Yeah. So, I'm gonna cut away, and I will see you guys at the eve of the carnival. Or, I'll, I'll, I'll see you guys at midnight. So, I'll see you guys then. Okay, welcome back, acquaintances. It is just about to hit midnight. And there we go. It is now midnight. Ooh, we got fireworks and stuff. The carnival is starting. Oh my goodness gracious! Isn't that cool? It's just rising up and stuff. Boom! 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 And there goes the steps. That's gonna allow us to climb up there. And now we get a five. Now we get a six-minute time limit. And listen to that music. Hold on. I'm gonna stand here. Hold on. Don't stop now. You can get up there. Just listen to the music for a couple seconds, guys. It's one of my favorite tracks in the game.
Okay. Well, let's go up there and confront Skull Kid. But yeah, that is a beautiful track. It, if you guys want to look it up, if you guys don't know what it's called, the name of the song is Final Hours. God, that is a beautiful song. Anyways, there's Skull Kid. Still with our ocarina, we see. Doubt, 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 doubt. Sis! Ah, Tail! We've been looking for you two! Hey, Skull Kid! What if you gave that mask you're wearing back right now? Hey, come on! Are you listening? Swamp, mountain, ocean, canyon. Hurry, the four who are there. Bring them here. Don't speak out of line, stupid fairy. No, what are you doing to my brother? Skull Kid, do you still think you're our friend after that? Well, whatever. Even if they were to come now, they wouldn't be able to handle me. Hehe. <laughs> just look above you. If it's something that can be stopped, then just try to stop it. And now Majora... So I keep calling him Majora. I used to call him Majora all the time. But Skull Kid is using the power. He's using the power of the mask to crash the moon and determine and destroy the world. Isn't that a little heavy for a freaking Zelda game? That's one of the reasons why I like this game so much. Okay, yeah, so what we gotta do is we gotta blow a bubble at him. Yeah. And uh, for some reason then knocks him straight out and he drops our ocarina. Now let's go pick that up. You got back the ocarina of time. Princess Zelda gave you this precious instrument. Set it to C and use A and the four C buttons to play it. Press B to stop. Suddenly, memories of Princess Zelda come rushing back to you. Oh my god, the memories of the Princess Zelda! Ah! And of course, another beautiful song. This is Zelda's lullaby, of course. You're already leaving this land of Hyrule, aren't you? That's my Zelda impression. Amazing, isn't it? Even though it was only a short time, I feel like I've known you forever! I'll never forget the days we spent together in Hyrule. And I believe in my heart that a day will come when we shall meet you again. Until that day comes, please, take this. Oh my god. <coughs> Sorry about that. I am praying. I am praying that your journey be a safe one. If something should happen to you, remember this song. I wonder what song she's gonna teach us. Oh my god, it's the song of time! My goodness gracious! Alright, so this is the very first of many songs we learn in Majora's Mask. Yeah, it's easy enough to play. We learn. Uh, bigger songs later on in the game and whatever, but come on. This is like the song You remember the song of time this melody lingering on the edges of your mind. It's a song of memories of Princess Zelda Oh, so cute And now we're walking away. I'm assuming that's when we were to go to the uh, The forest right at the beginning. Oh shit. I missed that text. Oh, well <clears throat> Snap out of it! What are you doing, Lost in Memories? Get yourself together! Getting that old ocarina back isn't going to help us. Somebody, anybody, got us a time! Help us, please! We need more time! So that right there, what Tattle just said, is, um... Oh, what am I... What's the word I'm looking for? It's, it's a hint, basically. It's what, what we have to do. Basically, what we have to do is play the ocarina. But, huh? When did you get that instrument? So we gotta play the song of time. Basically, the song we just learned. We gotta play, it, and it does lots of fantastical stuff. You played the song of time. Save and return to dawn of the first day. Yes. Now you see how this works. The game isn't over just because the three-day cycle is up. No, 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 no. <laughs> I 
That's one of the things I like about this game. It's the, the, the cool ways you get to manipulate time. It's really creative. Now we get this cool montage of everything that happened at the beginning. All over again. And then, oh god, a close-up of the creepy mask salesman. Don't ever do that again, please. God, no. I think I just had a heart attack. More motion blur! Okay. W what just happened? Everything has... Frozen? No. Started over. Oh, and there's the moon. Way back up there. Not nearly as big as it used to be. We're close. I think it's... I think, it got, I think it gets closer over the course of the days, not bigger. What, what are you, anyway? That song you played. That instrument. That instrument! Wait, that's it! Your instrument! The masked salesman said that if you got that, if you got back the precious thing that was stolen from you, he could return you to normal. Did you completely forget or what? You dumb nut, you're stupid, I hate you! <laughs> I don't know, now I'm just putting words in the tattle's mouth. So, I'm about ready to end the video, but I want to do this one last thing first before we do. Let's, uh, talk to, let's talk to the mask salesman, shall we? Were you able to recover the precious item from that imp? Oh, 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 you got it, you got it, you got it, you got it! And then he gets a freaking big-ass piano or organ or whatever from out of nowhere. I don't even know where that came from. I just think that's amazing and incredibly impressive. And I wanted to hire him for that. Then listen to me. Please play this song that I'm about to perform and remember it well. And another main song of the game, if you want to say. Another big song. We learned the two biggest songs in the game, like, right at the beginning. I find that interesting. Oops. <laughs> uh. There we go. No. What is happening? No! Okay. Left. No. There we go. There we go. God, I can't believe I screwed that up so bad. Holy crap. Of course, a song of healing. That's the song we just played. It is also very. Another very nice song. Like the song of time. This is that mad the, that mad scrub? Yeah, wave by to it, Link. That's what you do. Heck yeah. <gasps> oh my God. We're Hylian again. Oh my God, we're back to normal. We're not stuck as the dick scrub for the whole game. Yay. This is a melody that heals evil magic and troubled spirits, turning them into masks. I am sure it will be of assistance to you in the future. Ah, yes. I give you this mask in commemoration of this day. Fear not, for the magic has been sealed inside the mask. When you wear it, you will transform into, into the shape you just were. When you remove it, you will return to normal. Oh my god! You got the deck mask to keep as a memento. Press start and set it to that, that, or that on the selection item screen. Wear the mask with C to inhabit the body of a Deku. Press C again to return to normal. Isn't that awesome? I think that's awesome. Now I have fulfilled my promise to you. So please, give me that which you promised me. Um, yeah, about that. I don't have it. Don't tell me. My mask. You did. Get it back. Didn't you? <laughs> I love doing that. What have you done to me? If you leave my mask out there, something terrible will happen. And now finally, we get a little bit of backstory on what this mask is. The mask that was stolen from me. It's called the Jorah's Mask. It is, it is an accursed item from the legend that is said to have been used by ancient tribes in its hexing rituals. I had to read that a little fast. I don't think I said all of it right, but whatever. 
It is said that an evil and wicked power is bestowed upon the one who wears the mask. Yeah, we've seen that already. According to legend, the troubles caused by Majora's Mask were so great. Oh my god, fire everywhere, destruction, death! Ah! The Ancient Ones, fearing such a catastrophe, sealed the mask in shadow forever, preventing its misuse. But now, that tribe is from legend has vanished, so no one really knows the true nature of the mask's power. But I feel it. Dude, you are a pervert! Like, yes, the mask has horns, but come on, man! Ugh. I went to great lengths to get that legendary mask. When I finally had it, I could sense the doom of a dark omen brewing. It was that unwelcome feeling that makes your hair stand on end. And now, that imp has it. I am begging you, you must get that mask back quickly or something horrible will happen. I'm begging you, I'm begging you, you must do it. Really? You'll do it for me? I was certain you would tell me that. God, this guy is so bipolar. Oh my god. You'll be fine. Surely you can do it. Believe in your strengths. Believe! I always imagine him saying it like that. Anyways. So now we're a human. And basically the main game starts once we step outside these doors. But that is, the f that is it for the first episode. Uh, tell me guys what you thought. Like, comment, subscribe, all that if you, if you enjoyed it. And uh, this is Dragony. And I'm out. I'm out for the next. The next time on Majora's Mask, we'll be um, figuring out figuring out what we, what we can do in Clock Town now that we're human. Goodbye.